how to train your back effectively at home without any equipment for maximum muscle growth. Stay tuned. In this video, I will show you the best exercise to train your back at home. The experience level doesn't matter. A beginner could do this. I love to do this. It's super effective. So let's go. So with the virus situation right now, a lot of us have switched to home workouts. And when it comes to back training, it's not so easy. Because for chest, for example, a lot of us know what to do, right? Do some push-ups. For abs, you can probably do some crunches, sit-ups. Everybody knows that when it comes to back, well, what can you do to train your back effectively at home, especially without dumbbells and, and without a pull-up bar? What can you do? So that's why I will show you my favorite back exercise that you can do at home, and all you need is a table and a chair. To be honest, I have no clue what this exercise is called, so I'm just gonna call them table rows, okay? And this exercise is just amazing to build your back, your lats, your rear delts, your biceps, and even your grip strength. And what's also great, it doesn't put any pressure on your lower back. All right, to get started, you lay underneath the table, right? Your feet go underneath the table, and then you place your hands on the table with a, I'd say, shoulder width grip, or a little bit further apart than shoulder width, and that's kind of your starting position. So there are six levels. Level one is a really easy variation of the exercise. Level six is the hardest variation of the exercise. Depending on your experience level, you can pick one that works for you. And now let's get started, level one. So this is the easiest variation of the exercise. Your ass and feet stay on the ground all the time and you just pull yourself up. So this easy variation of the exercise doesn't really feel like a rowing movement yet, but it's great to either warm up or if you're a beginner, just getting started with this exercise. All right, now level two. It gets a little bit harder at this point, and now it starts to really look like a rowing movement because what we're going to be doing is we're gonna place our feet on the floor and push the ass up, and that's really important. Throughout the movement, always bring your hip up to really resemble a horizontal line and make it a rowing movement. And what you're doing now is you're pulling yourself up, and the edge of the table is going to be right around your nipple area. That's where you're going to pull yourself up towards that area and really target the upper back and feel that squeeze in the upper back. And that's really important, okay? Squeeze the upper back to really target your back. Get that squeeze. So maybe level two feels already a little bit easy for you and it's time to move to level three. Level three, what you do is you bring your feet up on a chair. So now your feet are higher in the air, it makes the exercise harder. And again, push your hip up, don't let your ass fall down, straight back, hip comes up, and that way you have this horizontal line. And then you pull yourself up and really squeeze the back. This is level three. All right, you guys, before we continue with level number four, five, and six, I would like to know, are you guys training at home right now because you like it or because you're forced to do it right now and you hate it? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you like the video so far, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel. Thanks, you guys. All right, now let's continue with level number four. Number four, and it's getting a lot more intense at this point. Now, implement a slow negative motion. So you pull yourself up, and then when you lower yourself down, do it really slow. Take like two seconds. That's the next level. That makes the exercise way more hard. You get a way better squeeze, and you focus on that negative part of the movement. All right, level number five, and now it gets really fucking intense. We're going to add a squeeze at the top, a one second hold, and really squeeze your back. You keep that slow negative, but at the top, squeeze your back. So if you're able to get like 10 reps like that, slow negative and one second hold at the top position, you're a fucking beast. All right, level number six. This is the last one, the hardest variation for sure. What I do is I switch from a wide grip to a more narrow grip, a little bit closer than shoulder width. And now you don't pull yourself up to your chest or nipple area. Now you move a little bit lower and actually pull yourself up at the upper ab area. The closer grip really hits that thickness in the back and also gives you that lat squeeze, like you will feel your lat so much more. This makes the exercise a lot harder. Try this one, this is like for the experts. So these were the six levels of this exercise and what I personally like to do is, I like to do four hard sets going close to failure with level number five and then I like to do four more sets with level number six and trust me guys that's an insane back workout I am personally super sore 
after doing that, after doing these eight sets. So it doesn't matter what experience level you are, even if you're like me and been training for quite a long time, it's still effective and you can still grow muscle that way. So no more excuses now, you guys. Now you know how to train your back effectively at home for maximum muscle growth. The only thing that you have to do now is do it and grow an impressive back with lats that look like wings. All right, I hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure to also check out my other video on how to train your chest at home. So if you got some value from this video, subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It would help me out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Len from All You Can Eat Fitness. See you in the next one.